if you're watching this there's a high chance that you are also going to Camp America which is so incredibly exciting well not going to Camp America going to America with Camp America or you know another um, one of the companies that do it but we're all gonna be going to summer camp which is so freaking exciting I leave the country in four weeks I genuinely could not be I just do you know when you get that feeling like that pit in your stomach that's what I'm beginning to feel. So I just thought I would show everybody all the things I have been collecting over my gap year, what I've bought for myself um, in order to go to America and just have the best summer ever, teaching at summer camp, being around, just being in the American culture, being at freaking summer camp, which is so cool, like literally the parent trap. Bro, what? <laughs> These are only the new items that I've bought. Obviously, I'm gonna be taking old stuff uh as well that i already owned it's in a big washing basically it was all over my floor and i was like oh, i can't live like this for a couple of days because i've been waiting for a couple of days to film this so it's in a huge wash basket basically uh so oh christ i've just dropped something this is actually my most recent purchase um and it's a little pink summer dress which is absolutely gorgeous i wore this yesterday it's kind of like a dusty pink color um this isn't you're gonna be like why have you bought that for camp but i just think for like my days off and for travel afterwards it's gonna be hot i know it's gonna be hot so um i wanted a little bit of a dress that i could take which is just quite flowy it's nice i could dress this up or i could dress it down but we have a swimming costume so obviously at camp i said to myself when i was looking at camps to apply to and things like that i said i only want to go to a camp with a lake if a camp approaches me and they don't have a lake, like I am just going to decline it. it. I don't know if that's a weird thing, but I think for me, the full camp experience, I wanted a, I wanted a lake and I wanted water sports to be included and things like that. But I have this, it's from ASOS. Oh, that dress was from ASOS as well, if you're wondering. I just think it's so cute, like browns and purples, kind of floral. I don't know, I'm trying to get more colour into my wardrobe, but I love it. I also bought myself a bikini for travelling afterwards because I only own one bikini at the moment. Um, so kind of wanted another one. This is from Monkey. These are the bottoms. Kind of like a 70s print style vibe. Um, and then this is the top as well. I prefer my bikinis to be kind of like tops like this and not tied because I just like... In my head, if I was running from a shark, would the bikini fall off? Like, that's kind of what I picture, because if I'm going to be in the waves and swimming around, which is what I kind of like to do at the beach, if a wave hits me and my bikini comes off, like, that's not ideal, you know? So this is kind of boring, um, but I just got myself some black joggers, because I actually didn't own any, which is kind of weird, considering I'm from the UK, um, and I feel like this is an essential in every girl's wardrobe. These are a good thick pair for in the evenings, and also just for, like, uni, because... I'll be going straight from America to uni um, and I'm gonna, everyone's like, you live in sweatpants and I was like, okay, well I have like two pairs so I'll add a third to my outfit rotor. <laughs> we of course needed some pyjamas, so all of my pyjamas at home that I currently own are actually disgusting, like it's genuinely a problem. Um, they have holes in, they have stains on them, um, or they are inappropriate for taking to camp. I have a shirt that's like are you drunk and stuff so yeah i couldn't exactly be wearing that around kids that's not very good role model behavior and i also while i was researching for camp america one girl was like they have a um what's it called a tradition at my camp where you go to the lunch hall the mess hall whatever it, what's it called like the canteen for breakfast in your pajamas and she like bought her old just stained pajamas see-through or really short shorts and they just weren't appropriate for wearing out and i was like oh my gosh so i got myself these from primark um just some striped long bottoms and then just a blue t-shirt that came with it like a pajama t-shirt top i actually just picked this up and i don't think this is one of my new ones i think i just grabbed this but i got a load of vest tops obviously like this i'll just show you a vest up um from primark just for really cheap i got all different colors i got like blue turquoise um, just fun colours for while I'm at camp because I like wearing vest tops, I think they're comfortable um, and yeah, it's just a top to keep me cool when the weather is absolutely boiling because I don't remember the last time I went abroad and I'm really bad with hot weather. That was my be real notification. Oh my gosh, where's my phone? How am I supposed to be real, be real, if you're not allowing me to press the app? <sighs> oh, here we go. Anyways, moving on. Uh, the amount of shorts I've 
bought i always get bought and brought mixed up but it's bought isn't it yeah the amount of shorts i bought for camp america girl all my money has gone on shorts essentially let me dig out every single one of my shorts because i've got a good few pairs in here and i feel like they all need their moment to shine you know i've just got another black pair of like sweat panty material ones because i prefer these to the running shorts a lot of people were saying get sport shorts get running shorts and then i bought a load from asos to try on and i was like these are kind of short first of all and i'm gonna be around kids and i'm gonna be very active so i don't really want to be showing anything off that's kind of inappropriate and also they were just like a funny material i was like i don't really like these so um, I already had a black pair, but I not brought another black, bought another black pair. So that black pair was from ASOS. I also got these from ASOS. Now, right. My mum saw me try these on and she went, yeah, I love those. She then saw me try them on a couple of weeks later and she went, those are hideous. Why did you keep those? I was like, because you said they look good on. She was like, the, the colour is horrible. I was like, you literally saw me try them on once and said it was good. And the second time, said it was bad, but it was too late for that time. I couldn't return them, so whatever. We've now got neon highlighter colour shorts um, in the sweatpant material. But they're from Adidas, so I feel like they're going to be very good quality. And, you know, with like a black or white shirt, this could look cute, you know. And nobody really cares what you look like at camp anyways, so I'm not too bothered. Then I got these from Primark, which are essentially the exact same as the last two, but in this light blue colour. I got these, which are a little bit shorter, um, but still long enough in the back, uh, from Primark as well. Because green is actually my camp's colour. Uh, so I thought, you know, like, get in there with the camp spirit type thing. And they also say positive vibes only, because we are going to be good role models. I want positive vibes only this summer. And then the last pair of shorts that I bought are these. These are kind of like, can you hear that? Kind of like weird running material, but they're just black. I just thought they're a bit more lightweight. Um, and if I'm going to be near like water or something they feel like quicker to dry type material or easy to wipe off okay I technically did just lie i've just seen my other pair of shorts but these aren't like sporty shorts okay so the camp i'm going to is actually a jewish camp and a lot of people when i've told them that have like been like you're not jewish though like why you're not even religious why are you going to a religious camp Here's the thing, I was very uncertain when they approached me too. I actually got approached by two Jewish camps and both times I was like, why do you want me? Like, I'm not religious, I'm not Jewish. I don't know anything about the Jewish culture. I don't know anything about the Jewish religion, anything like that. I barely know anything about religion in the first place. I'm very ignorant in that fact. And I felt a little bit uncomfortable because I was like, I, I don't want to offend anybody or say anything or like the, my lifestyle be offensive to obviously the campers and things. The guy that was hiring me, hiring me was like, Millie, we actually would love for you to come because we would love for the kids to be exposed to different viewpoints and different lifestyles. And also it's absolutely fine that you don't know anything because the campers love people like that because they love teaching them um, and they love being the teachers for a change and being able to introduce you to things and stuff like that. And I was like, actually that is such a nice way of thinking about it and also if I don't push myself to put myself in situations where I'm a little bit unsure I'm a little bit uncomfortable then I'm never going to learn about anything new and I'm never going to be exposed to anything new and what kind of human does that make me you know if I'm not willing to learn and willing to be open and say and put my hands up and say actually yeah I don't know anything about this topic that being said um we do have religious ceremonies and for those specifically, we have to obviously get dressed up nice. It's like as if you're going to church. I have been to church like twice in my life and you have to dress up nice. I do know that. So it's a bit like that. So they wanted beige colored shorts, which I didn't have any of. So I've had to buy these and I think they're actually quite nice. They're giving me very much camp counselor vibes, like a little camp t-shirt on top. Uh, these are from ASOS as well. Cute, love them. A little bit smart, a little bit fancy. Yeah, that's gonna be me at camp look how fun these are so these are just some more pajama shorts i actually got a couple of pairs um but i'm just showing you these ones because they're summery and these are just from primark okay guys a t-shirt time so i got some t-shirts from primark obviously i just did like a massive trip where i bought like all of the clothes i'm gonna kind of need so i got lots of colored ones but i also got some white ones because um tie-dye friday bro i'm so excited i love tie-dyeing stuff i only done it once but it was very exciting um we get to tie-dye our own 
white top so they wanted us to bring a plain white one so we can obviously dye it when we're there and then i think we get to wear it on like the religious ceremonies on friday or s something like that um with our like beige shorts so how fun is that gonna be i think tie dye is such a good big part of camp as well like you think of american summer camp and tie dye immediately comes into my head like if i made a little mood board tie dye would be on there okay now we have some more like miscellaneous items coming up so the first thing are these flip flops i got these from primark for 90p so these are actually my shower shoes they're kind of like this purpley marble kind of vibe love that how cute are they uh because obviously the showers are going to be shared by lots of counselors and lots of kids and i don't really want to be getting like a foot infection or foot fungus or anything like that so you just safe for the communal showers you know you get the vibe oh my gosh guys socks so i have some short ones as well but i should put these long ones to show in the video i every time i've gone out and been um buying clothing for camp america i've bought socks as well because somebody said like your socks just go missing you will literally get to camp with 40 pairs and within the first two weeks you'll be down to 20 like it's ridiculous how quick they go missing next we have this which honestly i love it's a little cap oh my gosh cute put it on like this i was wearing it like this when we we're on my dv this is exactly my camp colors actually and i got it for one pound from primark so i was very happy with it i can literally picture myself wearing this around camp being like kids let's go and tidy up like let's go to lunch let's do a bit of football well soccer type thing now i don't think you're ready for this next item because guys i was studying primark for ages looking at it and i went and did my shopping and then i came back to it and i was like do i get it do i not get it and then i'm so glad i did but i'm just gonna put it on shut up <laughs> literally shut up do i not look like i belong in like jurassic park or something or like a little safari yes i do i absolutely do you even tighten it up and you know that looks a bit stupid but if it's windy um i'm probably just gonna keep it like this though like oh Stop! It looks so good. Potentially some of the most important things I have purchased for this trip are my packing cubes. I actually got these as a birthday present, but I put some money towards them because they were quite expensive. I think they were 30 quid. Um, and I'm pretty sure I got them from Amazon, but everyone has said to me, get packing cubes. Like they're gonna condense down your clothing so much. It's just so useful. We have some more clothing. So I, I got this sports bra. I've also got a blue one that's kind of, it's actually like a top length and i took it on my dv and everyone was like is that not a top and i was like it's actually technically a sports bra it's classed as a sports bra but i got this one from fabletics um, i already know i like fabletics because i have a sports bra from them already but i just think i'm going to prefer to wear these than normal bras at camp because we're going to be quite active and on our feet and things like that so i just thought i needed a collection of them okay so i actually did not buy this um this is from work when i left it was a little leaving present which i think is so cute because they obviously know that i'm going traveling um and it's like a big topic of conversation when i was there so they got me a little travel tag for my bag, a little M on it, very Millie colours as well, like bright, I'm going to know exactly what it is so I can write my name, my address, a telephone number, and if it gets lost, they'll know who to return it to, i.e. me. We are coming up to our last two items in the bucket. So the first one is this little speaker from JBL. It's just small, it's portable, I can hook it onto something here. It's actually got quite good sound, I was listening to it yesterday as well. And then the last physical item that I have to show you is my little bum bag. I actually didn't buy this. Um, it was from my grandma who doesn't use it. So here we go. It's just black and it's got a lot of pockets. I did order a couple from ASOS and then when they came, they just like weren't what I was looking for. They weren't big enough. Just because when I'm out, I'm going to be obviously away from the cabin for like the whole day. Like once I leave, that's pretty much going to be it. I'm what well, i'm gonna assume um so i want to be able to put like my lip balm um plasters just like everything i would need um for an emergency or just that i'll need throughout the day i can put in here just go around my waist and then don't have to worry about it i have also made a list of things um which i don't actually have on me but they are things i either have already purchased um that aren't physical items or that i'm going to mint mobile i've put on here so that's my little sim card that's the company i'm going to be using for my sim card in america um i'm just going to order it a week before i leave the country and then it's going to go to my camp and then i'm paying 30 gigabyte no 30 gigabytes god what am i saying i think i'm paying 90 dollars overall for three months 
and that's unlimited text, unlimited calls, and 10 gigabytes a month, the package that I'm on. So $90, I actually think is all right. Like it is a bit of an investment, but that's obviously my package whilst I'm out there. And then also purchased travel insurance. So I actually got it really cheap. I got it for 20 pounds because we, I don't know what my mum did, but she phoned up the home insurance and somehow was able to add on me traveling onto there. So there we go, which is a good thing because the ones I were looking at were like 300, 400 pounds and I was not about to spend that much money. I was just gonna like risk it and go out there. <laughs> and just, if I got my laptop stolen, then so be it. I lied, I do have another physical item. It is my watch. I am actually chuffed with this. This was 10 pounds and I genuinely think it's the best 10 pounds I've ever spent. Right, it gives you the time in hours, minutes and seconds. It gives you the date and the day. Um, it's got a little light, so at night when you need to check the time, but it's dark out and you're not gonna be able to see it but it does light up um it's got a stopwatch and it's got an alarm for the morning so obviously i'm probably not gonna be allowed my phone in the cabin but i'm gonna need to wake up you know me the counselors all the girls boom put my alarm on here instantly i'm up i'm awake i'm out and about and also i'll have the time when i'm out and about on camp during the day so 10 pounds from argos it's the casio just like that you'll, you'll see it on argos and also it's water resistant so if i get splashed because someone's like got in a lake or something and they've got me drenched it should be fine should stay safe and there we have it that is pretty much everything that i have bought for camp america i'm so excited i've somehow got to pack it all into one rucksack now if you want to join me for my america vlogs and then for uni vlogs after that then please subscribe down below it's gonna be the best summer ever and i do want to bring you guys along with me obviously uh, i'm gonna have loads of vlogs to post might not happen whilst I'm at camp, but definitely travel vlogs afterwards. Uh, and I'll do like an experience story time of what it was like working at camp and everything. And I'm just gonna have so many pictures. So follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok, subscribe to this YouTube channel, join me if you want some inspiration or if you're going to camp too. And I will see you when I next upload a video. Bye.